So today I'm going to talk about the uh, learning outcomes, the stuff that you are supposed to uh, learn in, uh, in, in, in this module, and uh, why this course. So why are we studying this course? And then I'm going to give you the outline of the module itself. And then I'll talk about something that's very close to your hearts, which is assessment. How do you get marks? And then uh, I'll talk about the activities that we are going to be um, uh, doing. And then I'm going to show you uh, a video that's called History of the World in Two Hours. So the rest of your two hours, you will learn everything about the world since the Big Bang until today. Yeah, so that will really set the stage for our future learning. So what we would need to learn or achieve at the end of the semester would be, first we'd like you to describe how technology evolved from various scientific principles. You, you will need to be able to relate technology to its scientific origin. And also, we would like you to outline the major human civilization milestones and the role engineering and technology played in achieving them. So how did we come from our beginnings as a human race until where we are today? What are the major milestones and how engineering and technology was instrumental in achieving that? Then, we'd like to be able to identify the grand challenges for engineering. These are things that, again, as I told you, will be repeated again and again and again because they are real challenges to the existence of the human race. And um, I hope that you guys, through the courses that you are taking, you'll be playing a role in addressing these uh, challenges and ensuring a sustainable future for everyone. Then we would like you to recognize the role engineering and technology play in sustaining the human uh, civilization and change human behavior. You know, technology doesn't only sustain our existence, it changes our behavior. So you look at how computers change the way we do things, how mobile phones change the way we do things, how cars change the way we do things, how the invention of the wheel changed the way we do things. So we want you to be aware of uh, all uh, this. And we would like you to construct uh, a simple uh, product or a process, which is something that I'm going to uh, talk about as well. So we know that engineers are very interested in you know, using their hands to do something. And this module will be your opportunity to achieve uh, that. Uh, finally, we hope that you'll be able to communicate effectively, both um, in a written form and also in a verbal form. So let me talk first about why this module and I, why I think it's very important. See, one of the things that we would like to achieve by this uh, semester and hopefully through this module specifically is really pride in being an engineer. Uh, and the pride should be not rooted in arrogance, but, also, but, only, but rather rooted in awareness of how engineering and technology has played the role in bringing us to where are we today. So you need to be proud of being aspiring engineers, people who are students who are going to be engineers and going to belong to such a profession that has played generally a very positive uh, role in economic development and providing the provision of, of jobs and opportunities 
uh, making life more enjoyable, making life easier, and, and, and things like that. So this is, this is one of the first um, reasons why we are taking this module. The grand challenges are also a reason why I would like you to you know, focus and, and spend some time on, on this module because you need to be able to explain the grand challenges, you need to be able to relate to them and, and see how, maybe at, even at this stage, is there any grand challenge for engineering that's closer to your heart where it could drive maybe the discipline of engineering you are going to take eventually or even um, the type of career that you would like to uh, embark on. So I, I would like you to start thinking of this. Anyone who is um, uh, passionate about providing drinking water, maybe start, can start thinking of how can we make drinking water, clean drinking water available to people uh, all over the world. Uh, if someone is um, uh, passionate about solar energy, uh, can start thinking of that already. Uh, if someone is keen on human health and how engineers can engineer better medicines and provide uh, uh, tools and techniques for the surgeons and the doctors to, to um, do a better job and provide better human health services. So maybe this is something that you would like to, uh, to, to work on. The other thing that why we would like to, um, why I think this module is very important is something that's very close to my heart. And we call it the journey to zero. And it's actually a dream that we at the School of Engineering at Taylor's University hope to achieve one day. And the dream is, first, to make education done for free. So we want you to come here without the need to pay any fees. Now, few of you are on a scholarship, but majority of you have to pay quite a bit of money. And we would like to reach a stage where when you join our program, you pay zero money. Now, unfortunately, this is not happening for you, but through you and through the vision, it can happen for the future generations. And we have an idea on how we do it. You remember during the orientation in my welcome speech, I show you all the cars that the students built, all the electric cars and, and, and all the nice projects that these people have, have developed. So what we would like to achieve is we need to reach a stage where we will be selling your effort in the school while you guys are working on a project that is related to the industry. So let's say by the time you finish your foundation year, we manage to get a contract from XYZ company that wants to build a furnace or uh, any device. Then instead of you building a car, you'll be building that specific thing for them and they will be paying for your fees. So this is how we want to do it. Now, if any one of you want to work with me on maybe getting his degree fees to be paid by a company, then please let me know. Now, the idea is we will need to really go out there, get the industry to be interested in giving us the project in the first place because Maybe they don't have trust in your skills. So we need to tell them, look, even though we are yet to graduate, we have built cars, we have built airplanes, we have built wheelchairs, we have built all these wonderful things. And the project that you want is very easy. We will be able to make it. Now, they may not even pay your entire fees. They may pay 50% of it, but that's fine. It's a start. But what we want is eventually for everyone to 
be able, when they come here, to be able to study for free because their effort is not only a project that will end in the lab and I take a picture of it, it's a project that someone out there is willing to pay for it. And that's how engineers add value, even before they graduate. So that's the first zero for the journey to zero. The journey has another zero. And the zero is to have zero impact on the job market. Let me explain that. Let's say I have 100 students graduating from Taylor's Engineering School per year. Now, if these 100 students are going out, oh, okay, let me ask you a question. So when they graduate, what do they want? What do they want to do? They want a job. They want a job. So they will go to the job market and they will apply for a job. And once you are in this job, this job is no longer in the job market. Am I right? So for example, what's your name? Yes. Amal. Amal. Yeah. So, so if Amar is and uh, Navid are competing for this job, if Amar takes the job, the job is no longer there. So then Navid has to look for another job. Now imagine, again, if when I have the 100 graduates, still the same 100 graduate, and 95 of them will be going out, applying for jobs, and getting their jobs. And I want them to get very good jobs with very good pay. But now, if Amar and Navid, and maybe three more, we have five more, decided to spin off a company instead. They say, no, I, I, I'm not going to work for someone. I'm going to have my own company, which is going to make water purifiers, or car parts, or sport cars, or whatever you are passionate about. And we won't only employ ourselves. We are going to employ 20 workers, five admin people, three drivers, whatever. But at the end of the day, that cohort of 100 students, they took 95 jobs from the job market, but they created another 95 jobs for other people to take. So I want you to think of your role as engineers, not only to work for people, not only to get value for yourself and your families, but can you create jobs? Can you be in the business of not only making the device, but think that when you make this device and this device, people want to buy it, then you will make the economy turn. Because this device has to be made somewhere. Then when this is made, raw materials have to come from somewhere to make it. So people in the mining sector start to get a job. After it's being done, it has to be uh, transported to the shop where it's sold, so the drivers and whoever works on this will get a job. And those people who are selling it physically will get a job. Those people who are advertising will get a job, and so on, so forth. So this is a dream. And I believe that going through a module like this will help us all achieve that dream. Again, I'm aware that not every one of us will go out and start his or her own company. That's impossible. But those of you who have this entrepreneurial dimension, I really hope that we all together nurture that so that eventually you guys, hopefully even before you graduate, you have your own companies. Why not? So it all starts with an idea. So if you have the right idea, and then you have the right encouragement, and we help you incubate it, then who knows, before you graduate, you already have a profitable company, and then 
you don't have to work for anyone. You don't even have to go for a job interview. So this is one of the reasons why you guys are um, studying this. So we, we literally want to have a sustainable value through engineering. So we want to always add value. As the cohort of students go through their studies, through their foundation, then through their degree, then we continuously having younger people coming in and adding their value to the entire process. And then we do this through engineering. So this is why you have this module. And this is why I believe it is extremely important. Any thoughts? Any questions? Anyone surprised? Anyone inspired? Anyone wants to join to change course? <laughs> okay. Never mind, as we move on, you will get more used to me and to each other, and I want you to speak out. This is extremely important because this is one of the few modules where you will need to speak out. It's part of the module for you to speak out. Now, the outline for this module will be, first, we will tell you the history of the world. So instead of me doing the history of the world, I'll let the video do the job. And then we will talk about the major human civilization. There are certain civilizations that have contributed um, tremendously to where we are now. So when you study mathematics, you, it's, it's good to understand where did this mathematics start? When you, when you are using the wheel, it's, it's interesting to know who invented it and where it started. Then we talk about the agricultural revolution. So this is where we as human beings moved from being hunters, gatherers to being farmers. And this was a revolution. And there is a reason why it's a revolution. You know, when there is a revolution, what's before it? and what's after it are different. There's a sudden, drastic change. That's a revolution. And agriculture allowed this to happen. We will talk about the scientific revolution, where we, as human beings, decided to think differently, look for reason, and, and, and not accept statements without examining them. Then the Industrial Revolution and how that led to the market economy. And this will be followed by the Information Revolution, the computers and so on. And eventually we'll talk about the knowledge. And then again, the 21st century grand challenges. This is gonna be a recurring theme of the course. And we will talk about innovation and the future. How and why innovation is very important for the future. Then we will talk about collaboration beyond engineering. How engineers now need to collaborate with people from other fields. Marketeers, medical doctors, economists, politicians. And we will talk about engineering and ethics. And finally, this is down there, maybe you don't see it, what I call the green revolution. Everyone now is talking about being environmental friendly, green, and this is a brewing revolution. It's yet to be a revolution, but it's brewing, and I expect that it's going to change the way we do things soon as well. So let me now talk about the assessment. So 50% of your work will be assessed on activities we do in the classroom. So that's what we call the coursework. So that will be into two major components. Uh, there'll be a test or tests that uh, account for 
and you'll be working on a project that will take care of 20% of the mark. Then we'll give you um, a final exam that, that's worth 50 marks. So that's how the 100 marks going to be. Now, um, later when you register for the openlearning.com, uh, you will find within a couple of days the notes and the video of this lecture. So if you participate in the lecture, if you ask questions, if you answer questions, you can see yourself on YouTube as well. Yeah. So what are the activities that we will be doing? So first, you need to register on openlearning.com. So please do this right after the class. When you go to openlearning.com, you'll find many courses being offered there. So please get, you, you, you may register to any course, that's entirely up to you, and I encourage you to explore. You'll find three courses that are offered by me. So there will be one is entrepreneurship, which is I have just concluded. The other one is called success. And the third one is called engineering, innovation, civilization, and the future of humankind. I want you to register for the success and the engineering, innovation, civilization, and the future of humankind. So this is a requirement. Now the registration is very simple. Once you register for open learning, and you can register via Facebook or your uh, Google account in one or two steps, then when you find a course and you want to register for it, you just need to click. Once you click, you are registered and all most of them are for free so as I told you this module has two components so one would be the engineering and the civilization part it has history it has storytelling and it also has the hands-on hands-on project while the other one is uh, success so success is where we are going to work on our engine for success how do we build our brain, how do we build our emotional intelligence so that we end up being successful individuals, not only in our academic career, but also in our profession and personal life. Then you will work on a project with a group of students. So I haven't made up my mind on uh, how many students, but maybe we can, we can discuss. I was thinking the group may be only two, and then we have many, many products to, to work on. Or maybe we have a bigger group that will work on a, a bigger project. So I'll discuss this with you um, later. As I told you, you will work with your group also on the emotional intelligent component. So that group that you'll be working with on your project, which is a technical kind of work, will also be uh, partnering with you on the emotional intelligence learn learning journey that you guys are going to be uh, through. Now, when you go to uh, and register for the success on open learning, there will be a survey. And I would like you, please, to take that survey. Now, I will be on, I'm almost living on open learning. So I'm, my computer is open 24 hours and any activity happens there, I can monitor it. So even if you have any question, you could post it there and I will respond very, very quickly, normally. Now, the project that I'm going to ask you to do is uh, related to a challenge that, um, someone has put, this is an Altair, is a software company, has put online. And they say, this is all about you and your creativity. No matter what engineering discipline you choose to study, simulation is a key part of overcoming engineering design challenges of today and tomorrow. So the challenge is, we ask you to redesign or re-engineer an everyday object. So most likely I'm going to ask you to work in groups of two and take any 
everyday object and redesign it or re-engineer it. You can redesign a toothpick. Yes. You can redesign a comb. You can redesign a floss. You can redesign a toothbrush, toothpaste, a knife, scissors, whatever. A very simple product that you take and say, if I redesign it or I re-engineer it, it will become a better device. It will become easier, lighter, cheaper, whatever. It has to be better. You can redesign your pen, your glasses, your t-shirt, your bag. I leave that up to you, but we will be working in, uh, we will have many discussion uh, groups and, and, and things like that, so uh, you guys can uh, start focusing on what do you want to do. Do you have any question? Comment? Thought? Idea? Suggestion? What do you think? Any, any comment? No comment. So what do you think about what I've said thus far? So you give that a mic? Please. Yeah, so you, you, we don't have a sound system, but when you speak to this, it's going to be captured in the, uh, yeah, in the video. Yeah. Are you surprised? Yeah. So, so you, you just say, I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised. Okay. So w what did you expect? Mm. I can pick on any one of you, so be ready. Yes. So what did you expect? Right. So you are surprised that we are asking you to do, to redesign yeah. uh, something. Okay. 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 Uh, will we yes. Navid wants to say something. Yes, please. Uh, will we be doing this alongside you, or will we be this, uh, doing this like in our own personal group, and uh, the final product we only show to you? Uh, I'll be your partner in this journey. Yes. So we'll do it together. I'll support you. And uh, uh, not only myself, but my other colleagues, and, and you will be able to use our facilities and labs and, and everything. Okay. Who has uh, any comment, question, idea, thought? Okay, never mind. So let's, let's watch the, the video now. And um, thanks. And be ready for, be ready to be surprised tomorrow. Mm. Okay?